Hi guys, welcome to another video. It's been long. Um, so, I've been having high temperatures when uh, gaming. I don't know whether it is due to Windows 11, but I have this Acer Predator Helios 300 2019. Idle temperatures are quite good. As you can see, uh, 29 degrees, 30 degrees Celsius with with turbo disabled and as you can see it's just at 3.2 gigahertz so idle temperatures no issues my ambient temperature is 21 19 to 21 degrees celsius so not that high so therefore there i have low idle temperatures but when gaming as it, it gets quite high up to 90 degrees celsius and that too at 3.2 gigahertz uh, and this cpu is capable of up to 4.5 gigahertz this is the acer predator helios 2019 Core i7 uh, with 16 gig RAM and GTX 1660 Ti. Uh, graphics wise, the GeForce GTX 1660 Ti. The mail board. Uh, the Core i7 is capable of up to 4.5 gigahertz. The base clock is 2.6 kilohertz. So, if I had this on 4.5 gigahertz, imagine the temperatures as you will see. So let me do let me do some gaming, so you can see how how uh, the temperatures are uh, while gaming. So currently. This is what I have um, as my CPU paste, the MX4. And I've got the minus pad 8 uh, from Thermal Grizzly. But temperatures have not been so good. Initially they were good, you can uh, see my previous video where I've done uh, repasting with MX4 um, the GPU has the minus pad 8 uh, and so and the, and, the, and the CPU as you will see we, we uh, I shall do a teardown has some generic pads so I think that that should be the cause of the high CPU temperatures while gaming. So, so this is what I plan to upgrade it with the Kingpin cooling uh, KPX thermal compound and the GLIT GPX3 thermal pads. Let's see, and these are one millimeter. So let's see what kind of temperatures I get. I will still leave the minus pad 8 on the GPU and then we'll, we shall see what this thing can do. Uh, Kingpin, I've seen several videos, it performs very well. So let's see uh, what performance and what temperatures we get. So here is a gaming test to see what the temperatures are like um, I have I'm going to disable the turbo and the cores the fiber uh, limits in in this application in throttle stop sorry is at 3.2 gigahertz I know it can go to 4.5 gigahertz 
or even a 3.2 gigahertz uh, it's quite quite high the temperature and uh, you see another volt of minus 140.6 millivolts for both the CPU core and the CPU cache okay and then I have MSI afterburner now I'm using uh, I'm not using any recording software because that would influence uh, the temperatures it will increase because of that uh, so raw footage like this is the best um, so this is and this is the fan curve I have under vaulted the GPU and I shall apply it you can even see my other video for GPU under vaulting link will be in the description now I'm starting this GeForce experience so that we can get temperatures of the GPU so because what's happening is you don't see with 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 Windows 11 you don't see the and the GPU temperatures until the GPU, the GTX 660 Ti or whatever is active. You can see here. So let's fire up um, Assassin's Creed. You can hear the fans. So here the temperatures initially. And at, it's still at 3190, almost 32, 3.2 gigahertz. So quickly, these are the settings. See the temperature already reaching now over 60. Intelligence medium 1920 by 10 GP. Some are on medium. So at the moment, this is it. Which is already hiking up at to 78.
temperatures are really hiking up at 82 degrees Celsius. The frame rate is good, over 60. Not so good, um, well, not so good, but not so bad. But the temperatures, terrible, you can see. So let me give it a while and then So after a few minutes of gameplay, you can see the temperature reaching 92 degrees Celsius, which is not good. So therefore now I shall be using the GLID uh, thermal pads and uh, kingpin cooling. After the gaming session, you can see the max temperatures did reach 95 degrees Celsius, yeah, which is uh, not good uh, considering the fact that it's at 3.2 gigahertz and ambient temperature is between 90 and 21 degrees Celsius. Right now, it's at 20 degrees Celsius. So here I have everything ready to get the repaste and thermal pads uh, installed. I've got the G lid and then I've got the kingpin thermal compound with the paste. I've got my two trusty screwdrivers alcohol pads to clean off the existing paste and some cotton buds so we're ready to go I already have the 10 screws already uh, removed I only have two screws here which I need to remove um, I'm sparing you all the, the, the uh, I'm, I'm not wasting your time by uh, unscrewing all these screws so that the video doesn't take that long after having removed the back cover, this is the current setup inside. Um, this used to be the original fan has been removed because it was damaged, and uh, and uh, a new fan has been placed here, uh, uh, installed. The, the old aeroblade fan got damaged and this is still the original fan with some see some tape so that heat does not escape there are two NVMe drives SSDs NVMe um, this is with a copper heat sink you can see here this one has a copper heat sink this one has a copper heat sink and on top it has a graphene and copper heat sink and that's the SATA SSD before doing anything make sure you you have disconnected the battery uh, especially for this kind of job we start by removing the, the two wires plus the fan headers and the two fan headers I'm not going to take too much of uh, your time I want to see the results of the deed so I've removed all the screws uh, especially these ones the heat sink make sure you start from number one going as you can see they are, num they are numbered and which arrange them because you can see the last screw number eight is 
different than the rest and probably even number seven so make sure uh, the screws are removed in order after removing the fans and uh, making sure the headers are out you can gently lift the heat sink out You can see but the CPU paste is still looks fresh uh, but but the GPU looks a bit caked the this part needs still the the, the pads you can see the GPU side pink are the are the, the minus pad 8 and the these greenish ones are still the old ones but I think they should still be okay uh, this part needs a fresh uh, pad First, try to remove the thermal compound. From the CPU die. Still looks fresh, but anyway, it's. Uh, And then we'll proceed with the GPU uh, later. So as you can see, with the CPU and GPU paste is removed. It's a mirror finish. All the paste has is out. The pads, as I said, the pink uh, are minus pad eight, uh, which I'll still be keeping as they are not even they still remain intact now this part is what I need to also address you can see uh, I might put the gillet on this part so I'll do the same for the heat sinks uh, make sure all the thermal compound is off it's completely mirror finish so you can see the G lead GP extreme pads have been placed here 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 and here now time for the repaste with the kingpin cooling Here is the key pin cooling with the spatula. So and the center and using the spread method quite easy to apply actually uh, use the spread method to spread the paste the included spatula here it is uh, I've tried to paste it as evenly as possible not very 
perfect triple two so extra we just clean that up See, I've replaced the heat sink. Uh, some of the chili extreme is exposed, but that's okay. Uh, and hopefully, she'll get better temperatures. So, I'm going to replace the fans now. Now, the complete assembly has been done with the chili extreme and the kingpin thermal paste. I even added on the SSD it replaced uh, the thermal pads with Gilly Dextreme on the heatsink. So let's see now. Uh, fingers crossed. So these are the temperatures, idle temperatures after the repaste and the application of Gilly the repaste with kingpin and 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 uh, the replacement of the thermal pads with the GP GDG extreme um, mostly similar to the last one so now we'll see what happens when uh, when it's on high load so I'll fire up uh, assassin feed origins in a moment so the GPU is at uh, 35 36 I'm going to 38 degrees Celsius so here's gameplay of assassin's creed origins here you can see the CPU temperature is now at 74 75 degrees celsius at the same 3.2 gigahertz and gpu is at 74 so as you can see temperatures have dropped from 90 degrees Seventy-four degrees Celsius, with a frame rate of over seventy FPS, which is great. That's a huge drop in temperature. Although the fans are ramping up, but that 90 degrees, it's not reaching it. So, if uh, you liked uh, the video, please give a thumbs up. I hope you have uh, learned something. Uh, please uh, comment and sub consider please please consider subscribing hope uh, this video has been useful till next time thank you for watching